Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze along with Blue. Hi! And welcome to the Road to 95 series. Uh, this is gonna be episode 21. Yes. And I think we're on a road on the way to getting to Fort Rochius, hopefully. Yes, we are. Sometime soon. So uh, in the last episode we were we defeated that um, acid guy in oh his little gosh, well down that there. Base. And then uh, the next quest was to defeat Night Flames and uh, Blue Razor. So we already took care of that. Yeah, that was and yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle. Like the 50th time, but so we yeah, I know we've already shown that like a bunch. So we uh, finished that up, and now we talk to Elizar. So that's what we'll, that's what we'll do now. A message from Bastion, from King Pied Morning Sword. I never expected this day. Please tell the king that we fully support him. Of course, for Bastion. Okay, I don't even know. That wasn't that much. Nope. So back to Tobias. Let me see. Tobias split sky. Legend has it, he actually does split the sky. Hmm. Isn't that pretty much what happened in Azteca? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's actually he's, the he's actual doing. cause, like, plot twist, he's actually Morgan. Like, what? I don't know, maybe he's just <laughs> a little humble mouse. Well, he is a humble mouse, but, hey, looks just can be a, deceiving. Just a humble mouse. I don't know about that. Is this tree still alive? Like, it's it, Well, it still needs to be a house drop. What, a tree? Yeah. Tobias. You took down some night flames in Camp Havoc? Huh. They will soon be driven from the last A letter from Bastion. What's this? A letter from Bastion, eh? I heard many of the bees put down their weapons and rallied to their new queen. The old queen, whomever. Tell King Piat that the sugar gliders remember them to celebrate the king's return. And what's more, the Tell restoration king of Bastion. We should restore the king's throne. Oh yeah, we do. Repair his throne. <laughs> the king's mm -hmm. throne was seen in the claws of some Goliath stingers. My people know where they are. Okay, where's the Goliath Near guy? The flower meadow. Oh, he's, oh, I yeah. think this is the one where you. Will you do this? I'll leave you go mark. into the yeah yeah leave mark here somewhere. I think you go into it and it's actually like a mob fight, but it's inside of a little instance yeah, that, area. That, and then after this, we go to Fort Rochius. Yep, I remember this. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully yeah. Fort Rochus. Fort Rochus is basically mob battles and then like four bosses. It's like it like alternates. It goes boss and then mob fight and yeah. then boss again and it's like it repeats like four times. So yeah. That's pretty much Fort Rochus and then the final dungeon. Which yeah. hardly even is in a dungeon, it's like three fights. It's not. And you're good. It's all good. Let me oh, we're back, going back good. to the meadow. We were here before. Yeah, we were. We smelled some flowers and then we left. Basically. Okay. Here it is. Last wood clearing. Hmm. Is this? That's good. Yep, has a ratio of everything that I need. Perfect. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll probably just do the normal Oops. blades. Yeah. If it's just, is it just mob? Yeah, it's just all those two guys. Oh no, it's three. Because of base. Collect. Oh, now it's four. Yep, four. Got to collect four. We need to collect four. What if you don't collect? You come back in. Come back in. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yup. And they, if they even what if join. they don't get the battle, see? I think they will eventually, even though their movements are really weird. Yeah. Huh. Already got a shadow pip, so we're good. Okay. I'll just... We'll just see if we collect them all here. Yeah. And hopefully we do. I'm pretty sure we will. I think the drop rate is 100%. That makes sense. Look at their weird antennas. Well, they're moving. It reminds me of the stone hopper. I know. I think it's a creep. I think, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, not my favorite mount ever, of all time. It scares me, still to this day. I still have it. I should have deleted it, but Jesus. I haven't. <laughs> still have it. I've switched to my winter tree because it's just, uh, oh, I've, I just, uh, you know, I just like it. I try to get that, but the thing is, the original tree is still the way I go. Yeah. I go ham. Well, I love yeah, the tree I've had it for a long time. That's like a classic. Even though the winter tree is like, what, two years old? Yeah. Actually, probably like a year old, because I think the Yuletide, I don't know when the first Yuletide pack was, probably a year or two ago, but yeah. yeah. Possible three? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. I know for sure last year they had it. <laughs> but the Nightmare pack's been older than that. Definitely. Yeah. You better collect all four. I'm leaving. Yeah, fleeing. Oh, I remember this, and then I don't because I feel like we didn't collect it one time. Mm -hmm. We had to go back in. Yeah. Like, I was like, wow, this is stupid. We had to 
I'm pretty sure I think that's what happened. We have to leave it and then come back in just to fit the same people. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of remember doing that. But whatever. We'll get it done regardless. You know what's great this time of year? Eggnog. <laughs> I think oh, we have some eggnog. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Is it like a wait, cheap brand? No. <laughs> nope. It's good. Not at all. Okay. I normally go cheap, but eh. Live it up a little bit. There we go. Good. I give up! It's like little butterflies flying in the background. It's like well, yeah, tries it's to be peaceful. Peace. It tries this to be peaceful. This reminds me of uh, in Cloudburst Forest. Isn't there like a lot of blo bugs flying around there? Oh, and, uh, the thing is infested. And uh, what is the other Alter Alto? Yeah. Oh. Yes. You yeah, you're supposed to collect all of them. Okay. Good. I was gonna say. Got my port. You got, you got your Tobias port. Oh, let me turn all my ports. See now that's the let me thing turn that mine I as well. Oh, I have a lot of pets I need to go through. I'm in the process of trying to make a perfect one. Oh. So am I. I mean, I'm probably gonna make a video on mine when I get close to completing it. But oh, yeah. Yes, oh, restore it. Excellent. Excellent. I'll gel. never have to come back here again. To Goodbye, it. Tobias. I'm done. <laughs> Goodbye. Finally, I'm out of there. No. Cause like we've been. Yeah. I mean, you have to come back to the last woods so many times. Well, so. you do. It's a and thing. It does, it, it does get slightly <clears> annoying though. <throat> After a while, after like the tenth time you have to defeat. After them. the tenth time you have to defeat Blue Razors. Oh, you're about done. The Hello, heck? King Piet. I sold. What do you got? Oh, I have to restore it first. It's like don't talk to me unless you restore it. He's ha he's been having to stand this whole time because his chair is broken. Yeah, that's rough. You restore the king's throne with the crown gems and a pinch of magic. Glorious. Amazing. It's rejuicing. There we go. Absolutely. Perfect. It is perfect. A healed chair. The glory of the king's throne is restored. It is a beacon of hope and courage to the burrowers. You are too kind. You have helped create an unofficial peace with the bees. I gotta talk to Queen Sabubu. Formal treaty, such as my ancestors had with the Apian. Can you broker a formal peace treaty with Queen Sabubu? We need a peace treaty. Yep. Whoa, Queen going the wrong way. Queen Sabubu. Oh, Queen Sabubu is by the brood. She's all the way over there. Oh, I know. So I, I know where the port is to that. I would take the teleporter. <laughs> yup. Definitely. Queen Sabubu. Be praised. I thank you. AKA. There's a lot of things in this to game be that you have mother. to praise. You got to get the Shabubu, Sabubu. You got um, Woo. You got what else? I'm, I'm forgetting it. All I know is that, like, you gotta take a moment. If you pronounce it wrong, I will correct you. I will slap you and then yeah. correct you. Just like the broodmother once slapped. Oh, hey, we get some gummy bees. No way. Spellbinder. Spellbinder. Heard that you utterly defeated Belasto Oh, we always gotta collect and quests. The round dance I'll leave a port here. Well, King Pyatt wishes Ooh. to forge a formal treaty with us. Yes, I am quite happy to do so. To bind the pact. I need your I grieve for the harm I did under the shadow, but I can undo oh, one going the wrong great way. evil. Divum oh. Whiteheart was where, where are these guys at? and lay but he is not dead. He is in a form of stasis. Here. Okay, I'll leave my revived. Port it up. Stingers have tracked down the Goliath Stinger lair and get a dose of Ooh, that. We have to create a remedy and See, we're still not in that Rachius. Defeat <laughs> more of these Goliaths. <laughs> Important to you. Yup. So basically, oh my god, yeah, basically what we're doing right now is getting some kind of, like, healing ointment ba for, yeah. for, di uh, Divim, or whatever. Yep. To heal, a, to heal his wounds. Basically. So. We're the same mob. I know, like, okay. What a struggle. Yeah. This is not like four, wait, was the last one? Yeah, we, did, we fought four of them. Hmm. This should be easier. Yeah, we gotta heal. Uh, uh, how do you say his name? How, how do you say it? Huh? What do Dive you mean? him. I just call him Whiteheart. <laughs> don't even. Don't even attempt. I don't want to like that name. one spider guy. Yeah. Oh, the hot lang. I don't even attempt that one. Yeah. That one in itself is like a dictionary. Like you don't even know. 
Probably not even in the dictionary. No, it's not. Okay, I'm ready to hit next. Ooh, hit regular. Next. Yeah, that's rare. Mine get... percentage is like 3% chance to get it. Regular. Mine is a. I, I've always had like 95 with all of my good mm -hmm. gear. Or is that 95? Could get 100, but eh. I could too if I use the right staff, but. That's the, uh, that's I don't need to, yeah. Staff gives mass outgoing and incoming, so I'm good. Alright, got one more blade. And you're good. And you're set I to know. steal their stinger. Yeah, basically. Pretty much what we're doing. But yeah, pretty much uh, what you do, the quest between Eclipse Tower and Fort Rochus are like collect quests. And defeat them good. And defeat them good quests, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, they could have left this entire part out, but... There's really no reason to have it because, just to delay, because you're already level 95. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It's all, it's all good, though. I mean, if you think about it, it seems like this world's going to be bigger than other worlds. Oh, yeah, it's combined like, two parts. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be bigger than, like, Aztec and stuff. Definitely. I'm ready. Cool. Got him. We got him! Why are you not just us for venom? Take it! We are I have a port back to Queens to boo boo. Good. Port to you. Ooh, now you can though. See, that's the thing. Good. We did get the venom. Oh, always we trying to, to slap venom. those well in done. when we least expect it. What do we need? Oh! I told you that's all it is. Queen Sabubu <laughs> needs to clap. Did it. you leave a port here, or should I? You should. Six hundred away, Dolan. <laughs> Basically, oh my gosh. I want to go to Fort Rochius, dang it. I'm about to go to Bastion and then go through the teleporter. <laughs> it probably is quicker. <laughs> going the long way because I'm, I like to struggle. I like oh my struggle. gosh. Yeah, I know. I, uh, you're not getting off that easy getting to Fort Rochius. Uh, <laughs> you don't get off easy this entire world. I mean, I hope we make it this app, but I mean, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I love how it's on the entirely opposite end of the entire like. Yeah. Spectrum. See, I got here before you now. Nope, I'm ahead. Nope. I'm not screaming my head I'm not screaming you ain't. Mm. See, now what counts though? You know what I mean? My winter trance face. Yeah. And oh, the, the snowy gift, beard. The gift on the foot, yeah. You actually like, on my screen, you're actually like catching up to me and passing me, which is weird. Eh. So, like, honestly, why do we need this charcoal powder? Let's just go to like Menards and get some charcoal. Hey. Maybe uh we don't maybe we don't have the Menards world yet. I guess not. Or a Lowe's or something. Even a grocery store. <laughs> I need my local grocer. Yeah. Basically. Okay, so we had a bit of a struggle killing the night flames back there. The drop rate is on First yeah, brutal. first battle I got zero. Second battle I was able to get two of them, so Oh my finally. Oh, and I got another guy with a Friendly Come winter tree. Give me the good news. You got the, you got the powder. Excellent. Mix it with the Goliath Sting of Venom to create the remedy. Where are you leading me now, Sabubu? We have to go and uh, heal him. Oh, that's right. Or we have to oh. heal his wounds. Yeah. I forget if he joins us again. Like, does he follow us around again after we heal him? I think so. Oh, isn't isn't this a hole? Yeah. As soon as I melt the resin casing away, oh, wow. deliver the remedy. Cure Whiteheart. Cure him. Where is he? He's not even there. Oh, whoa. It's like, oh, it tastes terrible. <laughs> I've been waiting here for weeks. <laughs> Can't heal him yet. There we go. Divin's form is cold and inert, but you hope for the best as you make him drink the remedy. There is a long, dark moment where nothing happens. Why am I dancing? Heat, no pulse, no breath. And then... Oh. Oh, that tastes terrible. I was like dancing while I was talking to Whiteheart. It was oh, weird. Were you? What? Were you? Yeah, it was weird. Okay, back to. You'll be you'll be happy to come back Queen up here. Sabubu. We get to finally go back 
In charge to Varachius! Well done, Spellbinder. I will have my people escort Divum Whiteheart back to Divum. Bastion. He should rest for a time. Spellbinder, tell King Pyat that the apiary is honored to Zoltana, stand with Bastion. Watch the, the leg. The way ahead of you is dark and fraught with peril. But if I can ever help you, you have what to ask. We have Queen Sabubu's help in the war against Morganth and her shadow beast. Yeah. Okay, King Pyat, are you over there? What? Yeah. Hot and over. Yeah. Hello. Spellbinder, what word do you have from Queen Sabina? I'll make my way to Una. And Divum Whiteheart return to us? A glo Spellbinder, the Shadow Queen must be reeling and distracted from your victories here and in the Moon Cliffs. I know you are eager to press on and face the Shadow Queen. I do not understand her dark ritual, but I know it must be stopped. The Shadow Palace lies. The Shadow Palace lies at the end of the world, Starfall across the Starfall Sea and past the Condon Desert. Desert. That's some foreshadowing. <laughs> well, it's already known, but yes. <laughs> but, but the end of the world. Consult with my advisor, Una Ooh, we get to talk to Zoltana. Yes. Are you sure we can trust Praise the leg. Strange allies in these dark I was thinking about this earlier and people were talking about it. Who would win? Sultana's leg or Broodmother? Sultana's leg. Sultana's leg, yeah. Yeah. Where's Una? She's up on the bridge. Is she the treasure card person? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. she is. Maybe. Yeah, isn't she? Oh, and then we gotta go talk to the king yep. again. Praise. Una Moon Dance. You wish to reach the Shadow Palace? Perilous waves of the Starfall Sea lie between us and the end of the world. As the Shadow Queen corrupted the Eclipse Tower, so too did she conquer the Radiant Alcazar and the Solar Ark. But once she plundered them, the Shadow Queen destroyed the Radiant nice. Alcazar. Nice. Okay. Are we waiting in no the King's Chambers? She threw it down from the Celestial Heavens. The stars fell, burning into the ocean created the Starfall Sea. There are still celestial fragments in the world, dying oh, star stones, which can help you navigate the Starfall Sea. But I am at a loss as to how to get one. So basically what we're doing right now is figuring out a way to get across the Starfall Sea. Like, that's what they're actually talking about. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Because literally it's called Starfall Sea because stars fell into it from the, the sky. Yeah. Pretty cool. Sultana, that's good. A dying mm -hmm. star stone. Ghost dog, the warlord who commands the Umbra Legion at Fort Rockius, has one. I do not think even you could just knock on the gates to Fort Rockius and have them let you in. The Milanos Tower is a ruin that overlooks Fort Rockius. From the top, you could issue a challenge. However, it would be an illusion. When they charge out to destroy you, did her leg slap you? Slip inside the open gate. If you make it, look for my hunter sister, Zarozinia the Death Song. She will help you if you convince okay. her. Okay. So remember that Melanos Tower? Yeah. We have to go to that. And basically, that's the way we were able to sneak into Fort Rochius. Mm hmm. So that's before. That's probably what we're going to do. I'm going to talk to King Pyatt, and then we'll probably end this episode. He has some wise words. <laughs> oh, Devin's here. Do you have a yep. plan? Spellbinder, your plan is ambitious, but it is the only one we have. You have my best wishes. You will have a companion on your journey. I told Divin Whiteheart to rest, but he would not have it. Take him to the Milanos Tower. From there, you can better plan your infiltration of Fort Rakius. I am eager to see this food. Awesome, so, uh, Divim actually comes with this to that, so that's, that's, that'll be awesome. He's an OG. Yup, he's ready to go, even though he was, like, poisoned. But, yeah. So, that's gonna be, uh, this episode of The Road 95. So, we learned a lot of stuff about future, uh, what's gonna happen with the Starfall Sea and the Shadow Palace. And got a lot we, of stuff accomplished. How we get there, yeah. So, uh, we'll be figuring out more of that stuff in the future episodes, and we'll finally get to Rafforashia soon. So, thank you guys for joining us, as always, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.